So I bring in all the wishes and greetings to Dr. Nilanjan Kar for scoring rank number three in CML, AML rank number six in the specialty of DM Gastro in April in ESS session 2023. Congratulations to you, Doctor. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. So great interacting with you today. And uh, before even we could start, can we know your brief background from where you started till date? Uh, sir, I am from Kolkata and I have uh, done my MBBS from Medical College Kolkata. After that, I did my MD medicine from Ames Bhuvaneshwar and currently I am I was preparing for DM Gastro. So I have got PGI Chandigarh. So I am going to take admission next week mostly. Excellent. Congratulations to you. And uh, why DM Gastro in specific? Sir, basically uh, I feel like Gastro is a very diverse subject. It has all the Tedinas and the things like it has clinical gastro, it has uh, many interventions are also there uh, and so many uh, interesting things are there in gastro. That's why I felt that it's a very nice branch to take. And uh, basically I was interested in gastro since my uh, MD days itself when I was in second year. And when uh, I started interacting with my uh, seniors in the department of gastro in my college, that's in the on the faculties also, they were very encouraging and enthusiastic and I actually saw all the procedures and everything how they are doing and all and that actually helped me to grow an interest on the subject. Can you tell me what did you do doctor? What is your working strategy, preparation strategy, how much of time you could spend for it? I mean how did you do this to achieve this rank? Sir so actually uh, I started reading Sajinger uh, when I was in third year in my MD uh, before exam and uh, for the preparation but at that time it's like for mostly for the final exam for the MD, but I started uh, for my DM preparation after completion of my MD. That was in the month of May, uh, that was last year. And uh, then I joined SPID. I saw the videos, I make notes of the videos and I started revising. And uh, I gave the INI last year, November. Uh, I had qualified in the theory, but didn't qualify for the interview round. And uh, in between, I have given my NEET exam also. I got a decent rank of 245 all India, but I was uh, more keen to take any central institute or GP Panther, uh, SGPJ Lucknow. So I decided that I will just don't go for the uh, colleges I'm going in the NEET. So I thought okay, I'll uh, give a second attempt. So, and uh, then I got this rank so this time. Great, fantastic, doctor. Now, how much of time you generally used to spend every day for, I mean, to prepare for this exam? Sir, so, uh, like I used to have uh, my clinic duties. Uh, I was just doing clinic duty in, uh, nearby home only. That was almost six days a week. And it was around two to three hours, either in the morning hours or in the evening hours, depending on my schedule. Apart from that, it was not a fixed schedule as such, but I just thought that if I can keep on continuing the revising the topics that I've already finished at around maybe six, seven hours per day, I think that is sufficient to complete the uh, revision in time and uh, to give a good rank. How many questions did you attend, doctor? Sir, I left only two questions. Uh, rest all I attempted. Fantastic. Now, doctor, um, can you tell us what is the message that you want to give to the students who are aspiring for DM superficiality and DM gastro in specific? Sir, I felt uh, like who are interested in DM gastro especially, uh, for them it is uh, good to start early. Uh, if we start in the final year of the uh, MD, uh, that will be easier. First, we need to see the previous year questions, the last two to three years question, how the question patterns, where the important topics from the questions are coming mm, repeatedly. So we can watch the videos uh, from the uh, speed app, make necessary notes, and then the for the gastro, you have to read the Schlesinger book. The book, mainly the textbook, you have to see the charts and the important diagrams. So I've been focused on, on repeated uh, times in the video series itself. So from that, after that, I have to go for the MCQs. So doing the MCQs and try to learn from the MCQs. Like what are the areas I'm doing repeated mistakes so I can rectify those mistakes, I can add those notes on. And like I felt in gastro, there are some Volatile topics are there like classification, some trials and also I made a separate note for all those things, the last moment revision topics that I actually devised. This was mostly uh, 
for the theory part and apart from that in gastro there are many questions that came from the biostat part almost seven eight questions came from the biostat part so i think reading the biostat part at least one or two days before the exam is also very important and the general medicine part was most of the time it's covered in like if you're good in the uh, md medicine that will cover itself and uh, lastly so for the uh, interview round i will say that i actually gone through the uh, isg uh, season 2 master class videos they are really helpful to prepare how the faculties are they usually ask questions and how to uh, how they expect us to answer so that actually help us uh, to uh, clear the interview as well great doctor now time to thank whom all you want to thank you can use this platform to thank all of them uh, sir first of all uh, like I, i really want to like uh, thank you first like uh, and this is my first opportunity to meet you i actually met you in person when i was in my third year sir actually you came in kolkata for a speech class at that time i was using speech for the pg preparation mm-hmm. <laughs> so uh, yeah he used to take uh, our surgery classes and i was really really like overwhelmed how he used to take classes and how he used to teach and all that was really a great <laughs> experience so i'm really humbled and honored sir to have this uh, opportunity to talk to you in this platform so i really like to uh, thank all the faculty who have been associated with the speed app especially the uh, the dm gastro session and the inter uh, speed app and all the management for uh making this journey very smooth and uh, comfortable i really enjoyed it sir congratulations great doctor great good words people who are to this interview always feel happy for the wonderful words that i given for, for them and uh, once thank again, you so much sir once again i wish you all the very best and all the success for a great career as a gastroenterologist in years to come and to serve and save millions of life in this facility wish you all the best and all the success thank you so much sir. thank you so much god bless you